Welcome back, I'm Danny the Dinosaur Drawer, and today I'm going to be showing you all how to draw a Langosaurus, the level 41 of course, from Jurassic World the game. So before we start, I want to tell you guys that this is a Graph Gear 500 mechanical pencil for all of you who don't know, because half the comments are, what pencil do you use, like what, what type of pencil is that? So this is a Graph Gear 500 mechanical pencil you can get on Amazon, it's really cool. It's really good for drawing um, quick drawings without having to stop to sharpen, and I also use it for my school too, so I highly recommend it, and it comes with an eraser, so I'm going to use that in the drawing. But for this video, you can use a pen, any drawing utensil you have nearby. So yeah, this is a Langosaurus from Jurassic World the Game, and we're going to be drawing it from a weird angle. So let's put in an outline first. So the head is going to be charging right toward us like so because this is when it's um just the animation when it bites the other dinosaur it's likely right about there now i have to remind you all that this is just the outline the real thing will look way better at the end than this i'm just doing this so i won't make as many mistakes while i'm drawing Got two claws, very T Rex like looking arms. If you guys don't know already, this is the hybrid between a Lanqua and Majungasaurus. It's a very cool hybrid. I'll be right about there. I'm just piecing this together slowly. It's got a narrow jaw and I made it a little too wide. That's why we have an eraser. So I think we'll start with the head first. Since I'm right handed, I'm going to start this way and move that way because I don't want to smear the paper. So let's start with the jaw. Now this is an extremely hard angled jaw for him, but let's see if we can tackle it. The thing is to look at it with an artist's eye. I'm still developing my artist's eye. So, some artists are so good they can just look at any object, like a wrinkled piece of paper in, um, on a table, and just be able to draw it and do the shading perfectly. I'm not at that level by any means right now. I usually like drawing stuff that I can see on like a flat surface, like a picture. So let's put in this muscle, the elastic -y looking muscle here. Tongue. If you struggle with this angle, just follow the shapes I'm doing. You'll probably have yours looking better than mine by the end. So today was my first day of school. I'm not sure. Most kids in America now are in school. One thing that was great that happened today is I got my braces off. So, it feels great to have my braces off after three years of having them on. But I'm definitely glad I got braces. So now we're going to put in the teeth at the bottom jaw. So the um, teeth here are quite small and nicely separated. So put them in there, basically like 
almost like water droplets except with flat bottoms. Like so, and now we can put the top jaw in. Trying to get this angle right. Also, put some lines in here to give it more of a three dimensional shape. Like so. Now we can put the teeth at the top jaw in. Like that. Now for the teeth on the top jaw, we're going to make them way bigger. Because of course, we're going to do the... Make the background dark, shaded there. So, as you all know, or if you're new, you won't know, but... Um, make the teeth bigger when you're going to draw black behind them. Because you will not be able to see the lines here. So, it's better just to make the teeth look bigger that way. So here the teeth are actually all stacked really closely because of the angle we're looking at it from. We can start shading in the background here. The level 40 Link was an okay dinosaur. It's not the strongest hybrid by any means, but if you're starting, like if you're have just started the Jurassic World game, then I would definitely recommend you get the uh, Langosaurus. It's definitely worth the um, DNA and dollar cost. Also, I would like to get some more requests on dinosaurs to draw, like regular dinosaurs on this channel. Not from Jurassic World the Game, or um, dragons I will gladly draw. And stuff from Clash Royale or Clash of Clans. So let's see, we're going to give the tongue some shape here. with the gums. This is where the nostril will be. Just going to erase this line. I might be wondering why I did that, but I was looking at the angle, it looks better this way. I'm trying to line up the jaw so it looks right. got like these layers of um I don't even know what you'd call this part of the head. Not frill, but I guess it was a, I could call it a frill. The sticks up, which comes from the pterosaur part of this hybrid. So I'm gonna shade in here.
To practice drawing dinosaurs, one good practice is drawing reptiles, like any type of reptile. Because then you can really get a feel of how the animals look and where the muscles go, because no one's ever seen a dinosaur, so. It's kind of hard to tell what the muscle structure looks like and all that. Let's look for some more juds and crevices on this frill that sticks up. And on the other frill. So this is looking a little better now. The eye will be right about here. It's got a big eye. See it's got even though it's got the body of a carnosaur, the um Head looks very much like a pterosaur. Fine reptile. So now I'm going to shade each of these little uh, ripples or wrinkles. And that'll make it look more artistic. I'm sorry guys I haven't put up so much videos in such a while. I was on vacation for the summer, part of the summer about a month, so I wasn't able to make any videos. I was too busy because obviously I have um, other stuff besides my YouTube channel. But now I'll try and get back in. But I was really surprised at my analytics page. I seem to get a lot more views during the summertime than in the school year. Because obviously I, we all have homework to do in school, so. Unless you're an adult and you're watching my videos, but... And you want to learn how to draw dinosaurs from Jurassic World the game. I doubt a lot of my viewers are adults, but they could be. Um, but then they have adults have jobs, so... Unless you're retired, <laughs> that would be kind of strange. I'm a really old person watching my, my videos and learning how to draw dinosaurs from Jurassic World the game. So on my, I think it was my um, Rajasaurus video, I did these lines on, on the side and people thought I was drawing eyelashes, but to clarify, I'm not drawing eyelashes, just, just what the markings look like, the um, stripe markings look like on the dinosaur. But I got like at least five comments of people saying, why does it have eyelashes or why this, why that? Yeah, but I would highly recommend you guys comment on a dinosaur you'd like me to draw that's not from Jurassic World the game. And please comment on the modern videos, because if you're a new viewer, because the old videos, I never check the comments. So I usually only check with the videos that were published in the last month or so. And sometimes if I get an email for the from a old video, I might respond sometimes, but I usually try to respond to the new ones. So put some more shading in here. This is actually looking pretty good. Tell what we're doing with time. We got 14 minutes left. Or we're not, not 14 minutes left, we have 14 minutes under our belt. I 
So yeah, if you've done a good, if you're doing, a, when, once you finish this drawing and you feel like you've done an, a good job or even even if you think you did a terrible job, I would highly, I would love to see your work because it really inspires me to do more videos. So you can post them on my Google Plus community. It's called Dinosaur Art. I'm the first one who shows up and you'll obviously know it's my community because it's got one of my drawings on it. But please post your renditions of a Langosaurus. I'll be very pleased. I apologize for using Google Plus. I know a lot of people don't use Google Plus as social media. I don't really. I just use it for a community because it's the easiest thing for my YouTube account. So yeah, there's the head. Definitely the hardest part of drawing the Alangosaurus. But now we're going to do the body. So the body is going to be a little easier, a little less detailed. So the neck will be right here. I'm going to move the arms in a little closer. Along with the whole legs. We can just erase that. With our eraser. So I'm sure if you're a Jurassic World fan that you've been keeping up with the news of Jurassic World too. And I have a feeling that it's going to be a lot different than the last Jurassic World from all that I've heard. Which is okay, but I'm going to... I love the, the last Jurassic World. When people ask me what's my favorite movie, I usually say Jurassic World because that was undeniably a perfect movie in my eyes. Like. Most a lot of movies like I love Pirates of the Caribbean by the, like for instance um, but there's some parts that's like oh why did you do that that was not it's got like it's not like a perfect movie you know even though it's the, almost all the Pirates of the Caribbean are really good but it's not like a perfect movie and neither are, neither is like Jurassic Park one I would say is almost a perfect movie but definitely not Jurassic Park three or two they were not the best and three is probably the worst I would say not many not many people liked it especially the T-Rex fans like me cuz like one T-Rex shows up and then gets killed by the spinosaurus and that's the only T-Rex that ever shows up the one thing i liked about it was the raptors those are my favorite raptors They're the ones in Jurassic Park 3 they look by far the coolest of any of the raptors, even the Jurassic World ones. And I also like um, Alan Grant, the main character. He, he's like the face of Jurassic Park. I think it would be so cool if he showed up in the third Jurassic World. Cause I know I know Jeff Goldblum is gonna be in Jurassic World too. And I know everyone's a fan of Ian Malcolm. I was not really like he's a pretty good character. But I like Alan Grant. And a lot of my friends will say, why do you like him? And he's like the born paleontologist, but he's like he was like one of the first, the first like main character of Jurassic Park, and he's he's like a paleontologist now. I would love to be a paleontologist when I grow up. That'd be cool, but probably not. <laughs> it's hard to make a living being a paleontologist, especially at, like when you have to go to school and stuff, you get a PhD. And it's very hard finding a, a college that teaches good paleontology school. So we're going to do some hash strokes, like just down strokes and opposite strokes like that.
from the other hand here. So you can shade in between there. Sometimes I use the back of my mechanical pencil, the eraser, but that one seems to wear down super fast. So I, I usually like resorting to my big one. Another good idea to practice your drawing skills is to have drawing contests. I love doing those with my friends. Um, we usually time them and then pick um, or we all and we all vote who we agree was the best drawing. Like, most of them were around 20 minute drawings. We're just drawing everything, not dinosaurs. Mostly, yeah. we didn't even do one drawing of a dinosaur. I, I only draw dinosaurs in my by myself. We were drawing like celebrities and stuff. But um, that's a great way to stay motivated to draw. Because the best way to learn to draw is not really by going to art class. It's mostly just by drawing and drawing and drawing. Even though some art, art classes can really open your eyes in the way of art. So now I'm going to put the leg in. Right about here. The leg goes off the page. At least this one does. Put the stomach in there. Put the other leg in. I'm just going to erase this one. This one doesn't look too good. Tail goes off to the distance there. Put some more shading. Shading does take a while to learn how to do. I'm still not a very proficient shader. And one one fun way to draw that I've explored a tiny bit is drawing with just like completely dark and completely white. Like I'm sure most of you've seen the Kentucky Fried Chicken logo, where um, Colonel Sanders is just black and black and white, and that's it. There's no other different shades of gray or anything. You can still see what the, exactly what the guy looked like without putting any medium shades. So while I'm doing here, like this line's darker than this shade that I just put there, but they did not, no shades at all and it still looks really cool. But that, that's actually very hard to be able to do. Because it's really easy to make too many dark lines. So now I'm going to put in the dinosaur feet, three clawed theropod foot. Like so. So I'll shade this in. For like professional drawings that I do, like portraits, I do use different shading pencils to make them actually look really good. But for videos like this, a mechanical pencil is so much more practical. 
and then having a whole box of shading pencils. And when I do do a shading pencil drawing, I really only am using three pencils. This pencil, a really dark shading pencil, and a really light one. And that's all you do. need. All the middle ones will just waste your time when you're drawing. Put these scales that are on the top of the foot. This drawing is definitely turning out better than my shark drawing that I did the Colossal 04. I did that about a month ago. It did not turn out well. But if you, if you drew it, I'm proud of you for that. At the end of this video, I will show you some of the drawings I did in our drawing contest that I was in this summer. Put a few scales there. Also, it has some um, splotches all over it. So put those in. Oh, I forgot to put some more spikes in here. This is Ludia's trademark. Is putting in lots of spikes on their dinosaurs. And I won't go into how they could make their animations better because I could go on and on about that. And you guys have probably heard <laughs> other people start talking about that. Let's put some more shades here. Well, not shades, um, blotches across the stomach. You can make it random. I'm not really even following the reference image I'm using. quickly shade in this part of the tail. I know this video is getting kind of long, so I'm going to try and speed up. It depends. Some people say my videos are too short, and some others say it's too long. But I think too short is usually better, because at least you can pause the video. Like before I started my channel, I was motivated by another YouTuber called Beanie Draws. I'm sure most of you have seen this channel. But whenever he would draw, I would always end up pausing the video to catch up with him. <laughs> I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys do that when you watch my videos, because I've heard some people say that. Which I would recommend. It's it's, it's a good practice. And of course, um. When you're watching something, you can take more time to add more details. One of the questions people always ask me when they see an impressive drawing that I've done, they always say, how long did this take? You know, I'm like, come on, I did not time it. But recently, so now we're going to begin the process, I've already started as you can see, of um, putting in scales. So the scales really make the drawing look more professional, especially if it's a lizard, uh, a snake, or anything, and especially a dinosaur, because that makes them look more reptilish, or reptilish, like reptiles, I guess. <laughs> um, 
Yeah, there's several ways to do scales. One way is you can do lots of small circles. And if you want to be quick about it, you can just do lots of, like, swirl circles. It doesn't look as neat, but definitely a time saver, especially when I'm doing a video. So, and then also make some scales bigger, some, some smaller, and put them randomly on the drawing to make it look organic. And then some darker shades. All that will help your drawing look more realistic and more natural as well. See, I'm going to put in my scales. I'll leave the top here without scales because it's got like a shiny light streak on it. So yeah, here's the level 40 Alangosaurus from Jurassic World the game. I'll zoom out a bit. Try and get a perfect angle there. And just finish up the scales here. So yeah, this is the level 40 Alangosaurus from Jurassic World the game. If you like this drawing and want to see more, please comment below which dinosaurs you like, preferably not from Jurassic World the game, because I have a long list of undrawn dinosaurs from Jurassic World the game. So, of course, it's okay if you comment about wanting one from Jurassic World the game, but I would appreciate some other ones. I know I forget which subscriber commented this, but one of you wanted me to draw. Um, Allosaurus, I think. Pretty sure. If you were the one who commented that, I'm going to draw the Allosaurus sometime in the future. So be looking out for that. So yeah, I, obviously I could spend another hour probably on this drawing, but I'm going to have to leave it like that, sadly just as a time saver. But this is looking pretty complete and pretty nifty. So yeah, there's the drawing. Very cool looking. I hope yours looked better or the same as mine. And if you want to show this drawing to me, do as I told you and post it on my community dinosaur art. So yeah, and I also promised you guys I'd show you some drawings. So if you've been waiting to the end, I will show you some of my drawings that are not dinosaurs. Um, these were all drawn in under 20 minutes. So I apologize for the dirty table. This is my art table. So here's one I did of John Cena. It's not the best one. This one's like, did it pretty quickly. Someone marked it there. Um, I did one of Captain Jack Sparrow from Pirates of the Caribbean. So this was around 20 minutes for this drawing. That's way shorter than this video. And I was looking at a picture on the iPad. So let's see if I can I'm just flipping through my book. Here's this one was, actually I remember this one was like 15 minutes. Gandalf, Lord of the Rings. So, and then, let's see. Some of these are not so good. I did a horse here. This is just from Misty of Shinkatik. I'm sure a lot of you have not read that book. I did one from The Little Prince. I'm sure some of you have read that. It's a classic. This is the sunset, Little Prince watching the sunset. I did a bunch of Little Prince ones, I'm not going to show you them all. Here's a Navy Seal I drew from 13 hours. This one was really fun. And I did another Navy Seal. I did several Navy Seals. Here's another one. This one was like really... This is a quick contest. I think this one must have been like 15 minutes. Or no, 20 minutes, I think. That's another Navy SEAL from 13 hours. 
And let's see. I'll find one more to show you guys. I'll show you another little prince one. There's a little prince on the wall. Wall scene from the book. Let's see if I have one more cool looking one. This one's full of doodles. I would not consider art. This is an okay one. This one's only like 10 minutes. So that's why it looks so bad. I was legless from Lord of the Rings. So yeah, if you like my channel, please subscribe. Like this video and leave a comment of what you'd like to see me draw next. Over and out.